Hello everyone. In the first part of this video, we have already seen about shuttle system and why it is required. Then we learnt about glycerol 3 phosphate shuttle system. Today we are going to learn about mallet aspartate shuttle system. Please watch the first part of this video before watching this video. So let us start. Mallet aspartate shuttle takes place in liver cells, kidney cells and heart cells. It uses antipotals. What are these antipotals? These are transmembrane proteins. These are co-transporters which allow the movement of two or more molecules in the opposite direction. Suppose this is an antipotal. If one molecule moves in this direction, then it is coupled with the movement of the other molecule in this direction. Or in other words, if one molecule is exported, then it is coupled with the import of the other molecule. Let us see this in detail. This is cytosol. This is matrix in a mitochondrial membrane and it uses two antipotals malate alpha ketoglutarate antipotal and glutamate aspartate antipotal. In cytosol by glycolysis NADH is produced. We know that NADH transfers its electron to electron transport chain and then ATP is produced. But electron transport chain is present in the inner mitochondrial membrane and inner mitochondrial membrane is impermeable to NADH. So how the electrons from NADH passes to the electron transport chain? In cytosol, oxaloacetate is also present. This takes the reducing equivalent of NADH and NADH is oxidized to NAD plus which can be used again and oxaloacetate is reduced to malate. This reaction is catalyzed by malate dehydrogenase enzyme. This malate dehydrogenase enzyme is present in the cytosol. So it is known as the cytosolic malate dehydrogenase enzyme. This malate is then imported by mitochondrial matrix. That means this malate which is carrying the reducing equivalent of NADH. It is transported to the mitochondrial matrix. In the matrix NAD plus is present. Malate transfers its reducing equivalent to NAD plus and then it is reduced to NADH. This NADH then transfers electron to electron transport chain and ATP is produced. Malate is then oxidized to oxaloacetate. This reaction is also catalyzed by the malate dehydrogenase. It is present, this enzyme is present in the matrix, so it is known as the 
mitochondrial malate dehydrogenase. So here we see cytosolic malate dehydrogenase and mitochondrial malate dehydrogenase catalyzes the reaction in opposite directions that is in the cytosol from oxaloacetate to malate and in matrix from malate to oxaloacetate. This depends upon the concentration. In the cytosol, the concentration of oxaloacetate is high. So, malate dehydrogenase catalyzes the reaction from oxaloacetate to malate. And in matrix, the concentration of malate is high. So, malate dehydrogenase catalyzes the reaction from malate to oxaloacetate. Now, what happens to this oxaloacetate? This oxaloacetate then takes a minor group from glutamate that is also present in the matrix. Glutamate is converted into alpha ketoglutarate and oxaloacetate is converted into aspartate. This reaction is catalyzed by the mitochondrial aspartate amino transferase we have seen that a malate is imported by mitochondrial matrix through the antiporter so this import is coupled with the export of certain molecule this molecule is alpha ketoglutarate. The alpha ketoglutarate is then exported in the cytosol through the malate alpha ketoglutarate antiporter. Alpha ketoglutarate. Then the aspartate that is produced in the mitochondrial matrix is exported to the cytosol. And this uses the glutamate aspartate antiporter. Then this aspartate transfers its amino group to alpha ketoglutarate alpha ketoglutarate is converted into glutamate and aspartate is converted into oxaloacetate it is catalyzed by the cytosolic aspartate amino transferase Here also in mitochondrial matrix the concentration of oxaloacetate is more. So aspartate amino transferase catalyzes the re uh, reaction from oxaloacetate to aspartate and in the cytosol the concentration of aspartate is more. So here this enzyme catalyzes the reaction from aspartate to oxaloacetate. Export of the aspartate from matrix to cytosol is coupled with the import of the certain molecule from cytosol to the matrix and this molecule is glutamate. That means aspartate is exported from matrix to cytosol and glutamate is imported by the mitochondrial matrix from the cytosol. So this is all for mallet aspartate shuttle system. In the next video, we will learn about electron transport chain and oxidative phosphorylation. So please keep watching and also like, share and subscribe. Thank you.